Hello there. I'm obsessed with these new flowers and I think I might have just found the easiest and cutest sniffer farm ever. You barely need any resources and it involves my friends the Alays, the super cute blue little helpers. This is what the farm looks like when it's done and I'm going to show you step by step how to build it. It's going to be super super easy. You've probably already found a warm ocean ruin and you have brushed away at the sand and found yourself a sniffer egg. If you find these bigger ones that have got like four or five temples, you will actually be almost guaranteed to find a sniffer egg in here. But of course you need two of them to start a farm. Now these eggs take a long time to hatch, but if you put them on moss, they actually hatch a little bit faster. So let's put a little fence around here because just in case they hatch while we're building, they're not gonna run away. Sniffers will look for seeds in any of these blocks. So if you want to build your sniffer farm, make sure that the ground is made out of any of these blocks. The minimum size for a sniffer farm is eight by eight, but you can make it much bigger if you like. Oh, look, look, one hatched. And that was the one on the boss. I told you it's faster. So you need a minimum area of 10 by 10 for your farm because the walls take up blocks and you have to have a little bit of a sticky out bit right here at the back. That's where your collection system goes. And I'm going to build the farm right around my hatchling area there so that the sniffers will already be in the right place when the farm is finished. And I bet you we can build this farm faster than those sniffers will turn into adults. Here are all the materials that you need. And as you can see, there are very few of them and almost no redstone. I told you this farm was easy. Now, how many glass blocks and how many slabs you need depends on the size of your farm. So if you make this farm bigger, obviously you will need more glass blocks and more slabs for the roof. Start by building a big square around your sniffers and making the walls three high. You can use any block. I like glass because I like to watch them, but it could be anything. Just make sure to leave those three blocks at the end free here because that's where our collection system is going to go. Now dig one down here at the back. You need to have three holes here and enough space for your chest. This is where your hoppers go. Crouch click into the chest with the first hopper and then crouch click into the middle hopper from the sides. So the outside hoppers feed into the middle hopper and the middle hopper feeds into the chest. Easy! Now put a helper block on top of your chest in front of the middle hopper and then place an observer on top of this with a bum sticking up. Now take the helper block away, you don't need that anymore, and put another hopper in here so that it's looking into the face of the first hopper. So basically one bum is sticking to the top and the other bum is sticking to the bottom. And because they're looking at each other, if you look up here, they're having a little chat and that makes their bums flash. So you've got a pulse generator here, the simplest pulse generator on Minecraft. Now simply put a note block on top of this and you can see it pings regularly and that's what's going to call the allay to work. And that's all the redstone you need. That was easy, right? Now you just need to close up those gaps and put an upside down stair on top of this chest so you can still open it. Now we just need to put a roof on top of here. I'm just using slabs so nothing can spawn on here and some lights in here. Just make sure you don't put anything on top of the note block because that'll stop the music. Well, I say music, I mean the beat. Now we can take down this temporary fence because we don't need it anymore. They can't go anywhere. And look, the second sniffer has hatched. And you know what baby sniffers are called? They're called snifflets. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? And here is the final part to our master plan, the allay. You need two of these little guys and one of each kind of seed. Just give one allay the torch flower seeds and the other one the pitcher pod. And every time a sniffer digs up a seed, these guys will just collect it and put it in these hoppers. And eventually your chests will fill up with seeds and seeds and seeds. You may want to keep just two sniffers, but you might also want more of them if you want to breed them faster. And to breed sniffers, you need torch flower seeds. So wait until you've got two torch flower seeds and then give each sniffer one of them. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. And they love them. And plop, yes, they laid an egg. And we can plant this egg again on some moss. The rest is just a waiting game. And before long, you will have a room packed full of sniffers. In fact, I think I might have a few too many. Maybe I should have made this farm bigger because these guys are absolutely enormous. They're huge. And look at the LA working. They're picking up everything. It's brilliant. And now I can plant flowers everywhere. Do you think I've overdone it a little bit? Maybe. Nah, actually, no. No, this looks great. I love it. 
So there it is, your super simple, super fast and super cheap sniffer farm with the extra cuteness factor. For more easy tutorials, check out this playlist here. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy your sniffer farm. Bye bye!